we're excited about um, what's going to be happening here. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for uh, our minority business partners in Stark County uh, to get access to opportunities, uh, to get mentored, and to be able to grow their businesses. I think that what we try and do within the Minority Business Development Division uh, with the state of Ohio uh, is truly business development. Uh, we want to find out where our partners are, uh, try to help them grow, and try to move that agenda forward. So we're excited about the partnership, looking forward to working with you. Uh, the turnout here speaks volumes, because uh, that says amazing things about the support that's here. So uh, we're excited about that, and thank you all for coming out. Jobs Ohio, I don't think I could say enough about Jobs Ohio. Uh, because even when it, I first got introduced with Jobs Ohio is when uh, they called me about Union Metal. And the first person I called was Jobs Ohio. I didn't know what they could do. But Tyler got on the phone, he said, well, we're gonna start working and they're gonna work with the people. And next thing I know, Kurt's and well, everybody's involved. Uh, and it sounds like it was very successful because Union Metal is still thriving today. Uh, so I wanted to introduce you to the new CEO, director of uh, Jobs Ohio, and that is none other than the JP, I might mess your name up, Nasi. <laughs> Got it. Thank you, thank you, Representative West. Uh, Denny, thank you for hosting us. Uh, uh, my name is JP Nasif. I'm the uh, rel relatively new uh, Jobs Ohio President CIO. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial since I was new to Jobs Ohio. Jobs Ohio is the state's privatized, not-for-profit economic development corporation. Our focus is to work with our partners around the state to help them create jobs, import capital investments, and improve the overall quality of life in our state. And what we heard today, what I heard today, uh, was just uh, very energizing for me, uh, coming uh, relatively new to the position to hear not only words like partnership, words like community, uh, words like uh, plans that we commit to in writing and agree to, uh, those are really the elements to success. So we, uh, Representative West in particular, thank you so much, uh, but the, there's a group of uh, disparate partners in this room. Several of us from Jobs Ohio, the governor's office, sta state, local, county level, elected officials several different not-for-profit leaders, private sector business owners, private sector business employees. It requires collaboration and partnership. In Northeast Ohio, uh, Jobs Ohio uh, partners uh, with Team NEO. Uh, Bill Kaler is the point person for, uh, representing our partner, Team NEO. I don't believe he's here today, uh, but uh, we work with partners, uh, six regional partners around the state. Uh, we also interact directly with partners in the local communities. But this was very exciting for us to be part of this. We are a partner, we're not above, we're not below, we are one of your partners. And we're very, very pleased and excited to bring uh, our relationship with the London, London Stock Exchange Group's elite program to partner with the Stark County Minority and Business Association, the Chamber, and most importantly, the passionate entrepreneurs uh, to provide tools at the local level access to markets on the international stage so that you can achieve your potential and your dreams. We are a partner. We're helping to provide the tools. Ultimately, the entrepreneur with a dream is going to create the value and deliver that value for their customers, their clients, and ultimately for this great state of Ohio. So again, uh, on behalf of the Jobs Ohio team, we appreciate the opportunity to participate as a partner with all of you. And this is a wonderful endeavor, and we know there's going to be a lot more to come. This is just the beginning. But thank you again very much for grace, graciously including us, and we're happy to be here. And that's all I have to say for today. Congratulations. <laughs> this last person that I didn't overlook, uh, but I didn't have my glasses on when I looked at that paper, <laughs> uh, is, is a very good friend of mine and, and literally has been running uh, minority business uh, for us for, for many years. Um, and I, I gotta say, he's done so much with so little for so long that he's now able and capable of almost doing anything with nothing. 
Don't take that literally, okay? Uh, Leonard Stevens. <coughs> I'm going to just stand over here. I, I made a few notes. Um, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Truly, this is a great day, and I'm so grateful and excited to be here today to celebrate this monumentous occasion. Again, my name is Leonard Stevens, and I'm the CEO of the Stark County Minority Business Association. Oprah Winfrey. Winfrey once said, I am where I am because of the bridges that I crossed. Sojourner, Sojourner Truth was a bridge. Harriet Tubman was a bridge. Madam C.J. Walker was a bridge. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a bridge. And she went on to name others who built bridges for, for others to cross over. In my life, there, there have also been many bridges built which have allowed me the opportunity to stand before you today. My parents built the initial bridge. Diane Robinson was a bridge. Bob Fisher was a bridge. John Lucas. Steve Perry was a bridge. Will Dent. Cap Three and my wife. And I could go on and name so many more. And now as we stand here today, I can say that gateway to economic growth is continuing to mount because of the folks that are on this stage today. These individuals are continuing to build bridges that will help others to cross over into economic gains. State Representative Thomas West, Thomas worked tirelessly to make sure that this happened. Also, I have special thanks to Kurt Schering, who couldn't be here, but we thank Kurt for his support. And then Denny Sonier with the Chamber, Denny started the wheels in motion, in motion by reaching out to us. And we appreciate that, Denny. And we're looking forward to doing some big things with the Chamber. Jobs Ohio, thank you for your support. And I know Glenda is back there. Glenda has been amazing. <laughs> She's been there supporting us and uh, helping us get um, rough through this. The elite partners, our businesses are looking forward to being part of the elite program. And it's with that program that's going to help pro, uh, propel them to new heights. So thanks again for uh, our elite partners. And then Mayor uh, Thomas Burnaby and, and uh, Deputy Mayor Fonda Williams, thank you guys for your support. Appreciate you. And, and others who have made this day possible. This pilot program is the brainchild of the people who are here on this platform, the visionaries who are building bridges to connect minority businesses to the greater Stark County community. They realize that when minority businesses thrive, we all achieve the economic success that helps sustain communities through job creation and economic growth. This historic partnership can be the beginning of growth and renewal for our community. Not only does it provide inclusion but it celebrates our diverse cultures. There's no doubt in my mind that this partnership is going to be a game changer. Thanks again for all who have supported this endeavor. Thank you for your resources, your support, and your prayers. Thank you. I just want to do one other thing. We, um, the Minority Business Association is in the uh, process of uh, restructuring our board, but we have some of our board members who are present today, and I would like for you to stand up and be recognized. We have George Levin, Dave Barry, Mike Green, and Thank you. Looks like a very strong board, right? Uh, okay, now finally we're going to have a wrap up with uh, Denny and um, and Denny will talk about who follows. Well, thank you to all the speakers today. Uh, a couple of things I do want to mention. Jeff, we do have a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and I also agree with you, Steve Perry is my idol as well. So. All right. Good to see you. 
point, there's a lot of people in the room. We can't introduce everyone. I, I would encourage you, please enjoy lunch. Mingle, talk, introduce yourselves, because each and every one of you has a relationship to the other. And uh, here again, without sounding corny or whatever, uh, everyone, in, everyone in this room is responsible for today. Uh, I want to thank the mayor. I want to thank uh, JP, certainly Thomas, the representatives from the governor's office, uh, for being here and giving leadership from an elected standpoint. I don't consider these individuals, certainly not JP, he runs a nonprofit organization. They're not politicians, they're elected officials. They lead, they lead by example, and they think boldly. And that's what we all need in our elected officials. I also want to thank two organizations, and that's the Sutter County Minority Business Association and its board who was introduced, and also the Canton Regional Chamber of Commerce board. And we have a few of our executive committee members here today. If you would just stand and be recognized, please. We have a 36, we have a 36 member board, and these two organizations had the vote to say, yes, let's move forward with this today. Uh, I also want to just thank our executive management team from the chamber because this was pointed out many times as far as let's put something in writing that says what we should be doing. And that team uh, is behind everything that we talked about today. Uh, so thank you uh, for coming. There's going to be a check presentation and a photograph of that, I believe, outside. And then we're going to have a ribbon cutting for the new offices for the Southern County Minority <coughs> Business Association. So with that, thank you everyone uh, for coming and let's enjoy today because it's a really good day. Thanks.